Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Um, first, I want to thank all the new subscribers and thank everyone that's been uh, helping out the channel by clicking the thumbs up button, the like button. It's really been helping me get the word out. And I'm going to do something that I can guarantee you you've never heard any YouTuber do when it comes to cryptocurrency right now. And um, I guarantee you I'm going to give you a disclaimer that you have never heard as far as a YouTuber is given in the cryptocurrency space or investing space, as a matter of fact. Um, and again, if you don't mind hitting that like button for this, I would really appreciate it. Because um, when I started this channel, I started it with the intention of helping those that need help learning financial literacy, but also um, being able to invest like nobody else. And if you have anybody been following my Theta position since the beginning, when I was uh, talking about Theta before really anybody really was, there was only probably about 10 people on YouTube talking about Theta because I had been a part of the program since the very beginning, uh, you know that I had amassed a lot of Theta. I, I bought a lot, I had invested a lot of my money, sold a lot of uh, assets that I had to invest in the program. And it, did I believe back then that it was gonna go parabolic? Absolutely. Um, did I believe that it was gonna do it this fast? No, I did not. Um, and I took a very risky position and I sold my position in Theta thinking there was gonna be a pullback because I wanted to get some more, right? Now, I get it in the comment section, there's gonna be a lot of people like, oh, that's what greed gets you, that's what greed gets you. But that's actually uh, what I'm gonna talk to the people that still own it about. Ironically, the people that like to say, well, that's what greed gets you, well, I think you may find out soon. And so what it needs to happen right now is that I wanna humble myself and trust me, that's a very hard thing to do. It's been very hard for me to watch Theta continue to climb. To say that uh, I would have been quite successful in Theta is an understatement, you know? And, um, and it, it, you know, I was, uh, I was getting ready for the day today. I wake up before anybody wakes up where I work and I'm up usually pretty early. I mean, it's, I'm up at 4.35 preparing for the day and uh, wanted to do a video and it just hit me that it's time, I need to humble myself and move on from this, but also share with you something that I think you guys need to hear. So here's the disclaimer that no one's ever heard. And if you made it this far, I, I promise if you keep through the whole video, it's not for views. Um, it's literally because I ramble and there's a lot of emotion here. And I talk to you guys about um, dealing with your emotions, right? So um, I'm not a professional investor. Well, I, I guess I am, but I'm, I'm not a, a professional. I'm not a professional advisor. <laughs> I'm not an investment advisor. Don't take any of this stuff seriously. Um, it's for entertainment purposes only. Um, it's just here to, for educational purposes, truly to educational purposes. Um, when I started making YouTube videos, I said to you that my goal was to make other people more successful than I would be. Because I truly believe that um, no single person can do anything at all. They always, there's always has to be a team. And even in huge organizations, um, really the CEO sits back and, and uh, all he needs to do is have a vision and make sure that they're on track of the vision. But all the nuts and bolts or, or the brains do not lay on his shoulders. They, that, that just doesn't happen. And it is very hard when you do something like I did with Theta and we, we sold all of our Theta, wanting a pullback. We believe that it was moving parabolically. And, um, and we never saw that pullback. I mean, we never saw it in the multiple dollars in the two, three, even the, the six dollar range. We just never saw a big enough pullback that we felt that was a good entry point. This has just been a parabolic rise. Now with that, um, I, I, I want to warn some people because there's a lot of people feeling that euphoria right now and they're, they're seeing gains that are just absolutely mind blowing. Um, and so here, let me, let me share with you what, I, what I'm thinking. So. Theta, last year, uh, within 12 months, if you would have bought, taken $1,000 and bought it when it was 10 cents, right? And this is a realistic number because I bought a lot of Theta at 5 cents. You'd have 10,000 tokens, okay? And I believe we just crossed $11, okay? So today, one year later, that $1,000 investment is now worth $110,000, okay? Now, I know people that have literally done this, literally. Now, I, I did it on a, a larger magnitude. I mean, I was selling literally 
uh, vehicles and um, things around my house. And so I did buy more than that. I was, I was out hustling, buying things at yard sales. No joke. I mean, that's how I really live my life. I, I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter what your perceived, um, uh, your, your perception of, of me is or someone else. Um, you might have somebody that uh, is a multimillionaire living right next door to you and they're out literally hustling on the weekends. You know what I mean? And they don't drive the newest cars. My point being is that I was out doing everything I could to grab as much of this as I could because I saw the value in it. And I still do see the value in it. I, I believe that there's gonna be a day where you see Theta at $100, right? Do I think that's gonna happen? Well, don't go off of what I think because obviously I sold my Theta at 95 cents, 93 cents, something like that. But here's the problem I see. Now, you guys have all become extremely wealthy, right? I haven't. Um, but one of the things that I try and teach people is still ringing true today. And that is you need, there's a, it has to be a certain point where you pull out at least your original investment, right? Because I have had investments um, and, and like my claim to fame, let's say in crypto space was that I was able to uh, buy Populous um, at 30 cents and I sold it at, uh, I sold some of it near $80. Um, now I didn't sell all of it, right? Now, later on, that all went away with BitConnect. That was just a, a, a bad scene from the beginning. But uh, what I wanted it to do, and I was excited at that time because I was able to capture those gains. You know, you've heard the story where I uh, invested $10,000, and it, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, it was $10,000, and it turned into a million in 2017, right? Well, I, I've talked about this also by, you know, end of 2018, that million dollars had turned into 60,000. Now, it was still worth more than my original investment, thank heavens, right? But that was a long, long time being at that price. And so what I wanted to share with you is that if you don't ever take profits, you're always going to lose because someday it's like zero hedge. They say on a long enough timeline, everything goes to zero everything zeroes out and the, the the point is and now i get you there's there's going to be tons of comments we'll look at if you would have bought ge stock back then it's not worth zero my point being is, is what good is it if you're not putting it to work right so this is what my suggestion is and this is just a suggestion and trust me this is from like a place in my mind in my heart where i'm genuinely trying to reach out to people now you could turn around and take this advice and it go to twenty dollars thirty dollars you've got to be happy with your decision, right? And trust me, I'm telling you right now, if you ask me if I'm happy with my decision, of course not, I'm not happy. Because the truth is, if I would have held on to it for another eight weeks or uh, 12 weeks, it would have been life-changing gains. Totally life-changing. That's just a fact, right? So I'm gonna stand true to my mission statement for my subscribers, and that my goal is to let you learn from my mistakes. I wanna learn from other people's mistakes, and I don't want to make the same mistake twice, right? And one of those is not selling out of your entire position. What I'm talking to you about is shaving off a portion of it, pulling back your original investment, and thanking the Lord that you've got <laughs> such an amazing opportunity in front of you, right? But what I was thinking was, I mean, think of this scenario. You put $1,000 in, and you, it's now worth $110,000. You have the opportunity right now just to literally pull out a 10x gain, just a 10xer. Like what is it? Grant Cardone says, you know, your whole game is 10x. This is life. You should be 10xing your money. 10xing your money. You have an opportunity right now to live like Grant Cardone. I don't, I don't, I don't care about the numbers, like the the amounts. You know, stop looking at it. Well, it's not worth a billion dollars. But you have the opportunity right now to say, I 10xed, and that is quite an accomplishment. I 10xed. Oh well, well, a little over. No, my average price after all said and done was about nine cents. I 10x theta. Okay. The only difference is I pulled it all out, all right? I, I would not do that. But right now, you have the opportunity, if you sold 10X of your initial investment, which would have been, which would be 1,000 tokens, sorry, 1,000 tokens, right? Hold on to nine. You'd literally be able to pull out $11,000 right now. So your $1,000 turned into 11. So if something ever happens, some glitch in the matrix, some <coughs> full-blown collapse, right? You could say, yeah, but I 10X'd. And not a lot of people can say that because what happens is they usually hold a zero or they, they, it, 
it starts to fall in price and they sell trying to buy something else thinking that it's going to go up and that goes down because usually they're caught in that bear market cycle. So that's the only suggestion I make. Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave the comments on because I'm sure I'm going to get a, a, a bunch of them. And the bad ones usually come from the people that are too scared to put their face on their, <laughs> their little thing. But uh, then that's fine. But I'm just going to share with you, like I said, this is going to be unlike any other financial channel you've ever heard. And this isn't me crying and asking for data donations. To be honest with you, that kind of stuff makes me sick to my stomach when I see people do that. But um, this is just a true, real-life situation. And my goal, like I said from the beginning, is to make you more successful than me. Because when I do that, I believe that my success level will rise. So, thanks again for all the likes. I really appreciate your awesome comments, your awesome questions. And, and regardless, even if it's not data that you've, you're dealing with, think about that in your other investments. There's a time to pull it back and take that money, that gain, especially if you can say I 10X and I still have 90% of my investment in there working for me, and you're able to take that money and secure it in a really good way, a secure way. And I'm sure those comments are gonna pop up in the comment section. That is a win, and a win is a win. I still won, I still 10 x on data, okay? So don't feel sorry for me. But yeah, do I wish I, to have it over? I do the opposite 100%. And I guarantee you don't hear most people say that because they're just hiding. So <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. All right. With that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.